I shrugged and said they all looked horrible. Mum asked if that means I want her to choose one for me. Well I can't choose one. I hate them all. I replied. So long as it's not pink or something. I said. Mum suggested finding me a nice blue one and I agreed, before reminding her about the sailor style, one that looked okay. Nice as it is, it's not really a party dress. She replied. But if you'd really like it, I don't mind buying it as well as a party dress. No it's okay. I replied. The last thing I want is two dresses. We must have spent a whole hour slowly browsing the entire ground floor again. Mum held numerous options against me, which was embarrassing enough, but I almost had a heart attack when she suggested I needed to try one on. Please don't make me try them on Mum. Not here. We need to make sure it fits properly. Mum said, it's a long drive back if it doesn't. She reminded me. Her eyes gazed beyond me and she said oh now that one looks nice. As something caught her eye. I turned to see as mum marched towards it and predictably I claimed it was horrible. It's beautiful. She gushed. And it's blue. You wanted a blue one didn't you? She said as she held it against me. Previous suggestions I dismissed because I didn't like the sash or the short puffy sleeves or the shiny satin fabric, and since this dress has none of those, my mother has deemed it perfect for me. Mum beckoned one of the assistants over and I found myself being briskly led to a changing booth. I barely had chance to protest before my t-shirt was whipped off my back, and finding my pants around my ankles within seconds meant it was far too late to make a run for it. With only my underpants and socks on, the assistant held the dress open for me and my mother told me to raise my arms. I did as I was told and quickly found it floating around me. It's too short. I moaned as my trembling fingertips unwillingly found its hem. Nonsense. My mother said as she stood back and admired me. Turn around and see what you think.